script, I, I said to myself, I have to be in this movie. <laughs> so you felt so lucky. It was a great heroic character. Did you think you'd get away with it? An action adventure kind of part with a real sense of humor. Did you think I wouldn't know? It's a movie that has so many crazy and unique and uh, exotic elements to it. You committed murder, Duke, and now you're going to confess to it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> he knows the people work in the hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Producer Martin Bregman. Batman, Spider-Man, they all followed the Shadow. The Shadow really was the prototype. He was the first anti-hero in, in pop American literature. There's a vestige of evil in him. There's a vestige of danger in him. That's what makes him a lot more interesting than all of the other characters that follow. I do what I do to fight back the evil inside me. But some part of it is still there. Someone. From director Russell Mulcahy. Here we are at the Universal Backlot, uh, where we've recreated uh, New York City in California uh, in the 30s. The nice thing about um, using the backlot for this film is that it creates a certain hyper reality. This is really the first time we see New York bustling in the movie. Every man pays a price for redemption. Who decides to teach him how to harness this power and use it for good? I'm not looking for redemption. Fighting for good. You have no choice. I think that he's capable of all of the same things that he was before, but now he just aimed it in a different direction. <laughs> you will forget about me. You will give me no further thought. Look, Mr. Grayson, I don't know what kind of woman you're used to dealing with. But I certainly don't appreciate this. Hey! Up hey! to this point, it's been rather dark and action-filled and whatever, and now we, we open out and bang, here we are in New York. There's a big musical number. We go into the club, as you see, the Cobalt Club, which is where Lamont Cranston hangs out. It's a very art deco, hit place to be in New York City. Which was created by production designer Joan Nemec of T2 and costume designer Bob Ringwood of Batman. So I come to the restaurant. I come to meet my uncle who is forever berating me because I live this uh, irresponsible, immature, selfish, playboy lifestyle. And in the door walks Penny. My character is Margot Lane, and she's sort of a society girl, and she goes to these clubs. Lamont Cranston sees me and is immediately sort of drawn to me, and we sort of lock eyes. It's a really fun scene because it's sort of every actress's dream to have sort of this grand entrance in a movie and to be wearing these beautiful gowns and and really look so glamorous do yourself a favor stay away from her she's strange she hears voices really he sees right away that she can read his thoughts a little something different well you just complimented me on my dress just now didn't you no i didn't but I was thinking it. And when he meets somebody that he can finally tell this secret to, because she has the same gift as him, this is a tremendous release for him. So there's always that sexual tension and there's always that chemistry. We need each other. No, we don't. 
We have a connection. No, we don't. Then how do you explain that I can read your thoughts? My thoughts are hard to miss. Why is that? Psychically, I'm very well endowed. I'll bet you are. Hey, camera mark. And then they filled the tank with water to drown me. They think they've got me. I attempt in a dastardly fashion to drown the shadow. But then at the last minute, I send out psychic uh, facts to uh, Penny. But he's rescued by the lovely Margot. We come washing out of the tank. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready and action. Thank you all very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. trying to like stay in the scene like oh i'm dead i've been shot i'm gonna lay there and the water's going bleh, 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 in my mouth you called this movie is about concrete love telepathy and uh water thank you <laughs> and from screenwriter david kemp of jurassic park for me it was an intriguing chance to do a superhero story, which I'd never done. Comes an adventure story about a crime-fighting figure masked in shadow who operates outside the law. A mysterious lone avenger with the power to cloud men's minds. Stop! Stop! John Lone co-stars as Lamont Cranston's nemesis. I saw you in all that. Who are you? Siwan Khan, now the descendant of Genghis Khan. Cranston's using the darkness to do good, and I'm using the darkness to become more powerful. Genghis Khan conquered half of the world in his lifetime. I intend to finish the job. And uh, how do you plan to do that? Well, if I told you, you wouldn't be surprised. The cast also features Sir Ian McKellen, Peter Boyle, Tim Curry, and Jonathan Winters. He should have been the shadow. Would have been quite a different shadow, I think. Don't you? Huge, huge shadow. Would have been an enormous shadow. It's all right. Cloudbursts aren't small. <laughs> it would have been a huge cumulonimbus shadow. Please, those college words. <laughs> We're doing a lot of things that have never been done before. The struggle between good and evil inside one person is just timeless. It took me 12 years to make. I would like, very seriously, to have had Alex part. It's really fun to do a fantasy picture because everything is bigger than life and more beautiful than real life, and uh, unfortunately. But most people don't know what the shadow looks like or what Cranston looks like. And to get together with the people involved in the movie and to create that, who this guy is and how would he be, uh, that's sometimes demanding and it's difficult, but it's also a luxury at the same time because uh, I remember there were times where we were going along and we would be doing uh, some scenes. And I'd say, well, I have to do this. I have to do it this way. Russell would say, well, how do you know you have to do it this way? And I'd say, well, I am the shadow, so that's all there is to it, you know?